updates on our organization and our room switching. Last night, <laughs> like an hour before bedtime, my husband decided he was going to move the beds around. The boys' bunk beds came yesterday. Um, today, while I'm filming this, this is a Thursday. My husband, for now, has Fridays off of work. So, um, we have a few appointments tomorrow, but he will most likely get the bed put together probably tomorrow, knowing him. He says he plans on it Saturday, but knowing him, he'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, so, he switched the beds around <laughs> right before bedtime, um, but we managed to get her done. The boys were here, home from school to help him, um, and things like that. So, this is the room that used to have me and Allie and Chris sleeping in it. Um, so we do have our beds in here now. So today my goal is to get the clothes in the dressers switched around. Um, I'm not moving dressers. My husband, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not doing that. My husband would do, will do the big things. Um, but we are actually going to just switch and switch the clothes around and just keep the dressers in the rooms um, that they're in. I'm hoping to be able to use the three drawer tubs for the boys in this room and to just keep them in the bottom of their closet to open it up a little bit more and give them more room. They each have a desk um, that they like to have all their things on. They each have their own to keep different things on and they both really like that. So we definitely wanna make sure that that stays that way. Um, and I will take you around and show you what we have done so far. Once we get everything in the rooms that we want and get their bunk beds put up, we'll probably rearrange it a few different times, um, especially my room because I'm gonna be putting a, like a mini pack and play. It's like a bassinet, but it's a little more sturdy so Chris can't knock it over. Um, in there, as we get closer to time for the baby to come, um, right now, today, we are exactly 35 weeks, and typically I kind of go over a little bit, so that's what we're hoping this time, too. They come faster, and just, it's better. I would rather be over. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Obviously, we do still need to get the changing table out of here um, and I need to clean out the bottom of the closet and then get all of our clothes out of here that is the goal today and I will show you my room so Adam's desk is still in here we obviously need to move that out and like their Lego table um, but my bed is not made and it's in here um, and Chris he still sleeps in his crib some of the night and so then these are the dressers um, I'm going to We'll probably scrape the stickers off eventually. I don't really care about that. Nobody sees it. Um, so we still have a lot to do, but this is progress. This is my favorite chair in the whole world. It is amazing for nursing, and so it is not going anywhere. Okay, so Chris is now down for a nap, and what I have done is take the clear drawers out of the little three drawer of made container, like I said in the last video. These really help me stay accountable for keeping less things. Um, we have a lot of family and friends who, um, you know, pass down hand-me-downs, which is fabulous. And we let the kids pick out what they want and what fits, and then we can save the rest um, in tubs in the attic, which is nice because, you know, we do have Chris, so eventually he's going to need clothes and school clothes and things. But it is just nice to have less things in the house that cuts down on laundry and just the clutter and stuff. So now I'm gonna take all of Cole's stuff out of his dresser and put them in these so then I can refill this one. Um, Chris and Ashley, the, the new baby, are going to share this one and then Allison and I are going to share the one that she is currently using um, and we're gonna have my husband will bring that back in here. So here I am just going to take all of Cole's things out of the dresser and put them in the little plastic tub and then I'm going to put Christopher's stuff in the two bottom drawers and then the two top drawers are going to be for the baby. Cole had just recently went through his clothes and got out the things that were too small and he just didn't like so he actually didn't have a whole lot of things um, to get rid of or anything like that. He had a lot of mishmash socks um, but that was about it.
So this is Adam's dresser and he is an absolute pack rat and he has knickknacks in here and clothes that were a million sizes too big. He had some stuff in here that was too small. He had stuff in here with holes in it. Just a little bit of everything. So it took me literally forever to get through all of his stuff. I had to make piles of shirts, piles of shorts and swim trunks and things that were too big and things that were too small. <laughs> And he definitely needs to have less things in his dresser so he can stay more organized. He also had knickknacks in here that he was making sure that the smaller ones didn't get and break, which is smart. Um, so now he has a tub in his new room to keep those knickknacks in in the closet so that way nobody gets into his things and breaks them. And he's going to try very hard to keep his new smaller dresser and very much more limited clothes more organized. We kept all of his favorite things so that way he can just wear those all the time and not have to have this hot mess of things we had even been looking for that we hadn't seen in forever. All we're gonna get done today we got everybody's clothes switched over except for mine I'll probably just drag my little three drawers back here for now until we can get the dresser for me and Allison moved back here <laughs> there's nowhere to put it right now um, and I just have to hang up a few more things of Adams that I found to hang up and then it's going to be time to go get them from school and I smell that Chris has made a dirty diaper so we are going to wrap it up for today so I will update you when we get some more done. Hopefully this weekend we can finish it all. So thanks for watching. Bye.